We are leaving the boat. We are back on the mainland. That was a rodeo of a ferry ride. Wow, I've never been on a ferry ride that was so rocky. I had my laptop on the table in the cabin, right? Because uh, I was uh, working on some videos and running, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I had to hold the hold the computer on the table at times because the ship was rocking so much, my computer wanted to fly off the table. And so I just tried to go to bed. And holy, this prairie boy. That was something else, man. I am not made for the ocean. And then I forgot what deck I was on, so they call us down by deck, uh, where we parked. I forgot what deck I was on, so I thought I was on deck one, I was on deck three. So they were looking all over the ship for me because uh, they had to make an announcement uh, calling me down to my truck. I thought I was on deck one. So once I got to my truck, my truck didn't want to start. I got it started, obviously, but for some reason, I'm gonna have to get this truck looked at because that scared me. Uh, it didn't want to turn over. It's almost like it had a bad solenoid, but the truck is so new, why would that happen? Like a starter solenoid or a bad connection somewhere? Uh, whatever, we, uh, we got it working. Here we are back on the mainland and uh, we're on our way to New Brunswick. I don't have any orders yet, but but to return to Moncton, New Brunswick. So that's where we're going. By the time I'm on Atlantic time now, which is an hour further east than Eastern time zone. By the time I get to Moncton, uh, the office in Central time zone should be open and have uh, directions for me. Probably going into Northern New Brunswick, that's what I'm thinking. We got these check stops here for all the non-essentials, telling them to self-isolate for 14 days. And us essentials are getting waved right through like the essentials we are, right Diesel? Diesel, you're essential. Why is everybody stopped here? Is there a Timmy's here? Stop doing their logbooks, I guess. All right. Well, that was fun. I don't want to do that every, every trip, but <laughs> it's interesting. Feels good to be back on the mainland. We're on a bridge on the mainland, anyway. I love New Newfoundland, but you guys sure got some crazy weather there. Every time I go there. Except for in summer. Like I said, the three days of summer, if you can get there right during their summer break, I mean, like, I think it's, like, from July... No, I think it's in August. I think it's from, like, August 1st to the 3rd or 4th. Their summer season. Oh, boy, it's a beautiful place to be. The rest of the year is winter. <laughs> I should, I should realize there's a lot of you that aren't from here. I'm exaggerating a lot, but they have a normal summer summer season, but it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely not Florida. Let's just say that.
right, let's see if we can navigate ourselves over here. We're coming up to a scale soon. Uh, gotta cross over this water and first. Take the second exit in 400 meters. What is this called here again, Cape Breton? Is that what this little town here is called? I think so. You want me to take the left. Okay. Left and then right. This way. At the roundabout, take the second exit. And then this way. Nice day for a drive, though, eh? It's beautiful out here. All right, let's get ourselves Continue down the hill. This road for 339 kilometers. Still haven't heard from the load gods. Since I'm way out here in Atlantic time on the East Coast, they still haven't gotten into work. Oh, they got this little bridge here again. They must have had those train tracks going over here last time as well. I don't remember that, but it's been a few years since we came through and it was dark when we went the other way. It's a little drawbridge here. Make it a little bit narrow, a little bit narrow. Well, that's okay. We know what we're doing. At least that's what we tell people. Now, will the scale be open? That is the that is the hundred million dollar question. Is uh, you go around this corner here and there's a scale. Let's see. Let's see if she's open or not. They don't need to be open. They could be at home having a barbecue. I think that'd be a lot more fun. I think that's what they should do. Go home have a barbecue. Oh, she's open. Tell you, it would have been way more fun if you would have stayed home and had a barbecue. I don't know what you're doing here at work. I and me up and down, I don't need that. Report to scale. Flashing lights, okay, there we go. There we go, we'll see what they have to say to us. Roll our window down here a little bit. See if they'll let us go through. I'm not heavy, I'm empty. They should see that all my lights are working. That's a really weird uh, inspection vehicle over there, eh? On the right? Was that a Kia? Really? Let them see this guy. Oh, this guy's gonna be sneaky and pass by me because he's empty. That is a Kia. DOT vehicle. Really? A Kia? Come on, man. Gonna make me stop? I guess I could have gone in the empty lane, eh? But I always, like, I always wonder if I have a dry van trailer, it's closed up, how do they know I'm empty and not just lying? So I always go over the scale anyways. Because I don't want them to come chasing after me to prove that I'm empty. Oh. I don't know. Technically, I am hauling a whole load of uh, motorcycle doors. So, there's that. Sometimes I haul sailboat fuel. So, you never know. I always go over the scale anyway. I don't know. What do you guys do? How do they know you're empty? Is this a new big stop just past the scale? I don't remember this. here. I think I'm gonna go for coffee numero due already. This guy's parked right in the driveway. My friend, my friend, you're going against the arrows too. Tisk tisk. I'll forgive you. Where do I go? Where do I go? This is actually a big truck stop. I, I don't remember this being here three years ago. Maybe I was just blind? This has got to be new. Look at the pavement. You can tell the pavement's new. Oh, is parking over here yet? No way. Look at this. So why? And these guys here? Look at these guys parking where they're parking. Why don't you back into a truck parking spot? Those aren't parking spots. Now how am I supposed to back in there when you're blocking me? Uh, we'll figure it out. 
figured out because we are problem solvers. And we're actually gonna park in a truck parking spot, not be lazy and park there like that. That is just lazy. I think there's one here right at the end. Yep, right at the end, that's where we're gonna park. Seriously, man. This guy here on the on the right too. What are all these drivers? There's like 10 open parking spots. Why are you guys just parking all over wherever you want? Maybe they don't know how to back up? That sort of bugs me, you know, because it makes us truckers look really lazy. It, it really does. And I know I shouldn't judge, but that's a lot of lazy truckers. I could understand if all the parking spots were taken already, but come on. It's not that Continue bad. On I mean, this road for 335 I'm not even on the road, I'm going backwards, Karen. Not that bad, I can still get through here, but still, it's, it's also not that hard just to park in this spot. Oh, well, see, they didn't stay long, so I mean, and they weren't really in the way, so can't criticize them too much. I, I just see that there's so many open spots, and it bugs me that they just don't want to park in a proper spot. I mean, that's what makes Canadian truck stops so frustrating. You don't see that as often in the US, at least in my experience. But up here in Canada, people pull into the parking lot, they just pull in wherever they think they're out of the way, pull the brakes and walk inside. When there's like so many open parking spots with even here paved, lines painted, and they just refuse to park properly. Uh, it's just one of my pet peeves, that's why I'm going on about it. I was uh, thinking of going up to them there and saying, hey, well, you're gonna have to get that truck looked at. They'd be like, why, what's wrong? I'd be like, well, your reverse clearly isn't working. I guess you gotta get that looked at. You, you, I guess you can't go backwards. And then they'd look at me with a confused look because up here in Canada, nobody calls out drivers for parking all over the place like that. They, they probably never ever even thought of that it would bother anyone. <laughs> and then, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. There's like 15 open parking spots, man. And you, <laughs> can you tell it my pet peeve? We're gonna, we're, we're just gonna. We're gonna forget that this ever happened and go on with our day. Okay. Now you know it bugs someone. <laughs> we just entered into the province of New Brunswick and uh, we've got to roll through this truck stop here. Let's see what they want. Usually they just pass us on right through as essential workers. At least that's what they did on the on the way east. Now we're headed west. They're stopping us on the highway now. Okay quite a long lineup behind me yet. We're just coming up to their little booth here now. I'm not too sure what they what they want exactly. I guess we will find out. We'll see what they want. Being waved through here. I'm gonna roll my window down in case they tell me to do something. That's just quite the operation they got going on here, right on the highway. As essential, but he wrote something down on his uh, on his little clipboard there. I think he wrote down my uh, my info off my truck, so they know I'm in the province now. Here's a cop off to the right here, ready to chase anybody who dodges this. I guess there's no one in that cop vehicle. I don't know. Crazy, eh? Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to exit here. Go to that truck stop. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna go to the next one. Welcome to New Brunswick. Where are you going? Why? Who are you? Are you sick? Oh wait, I can still get there from here. Well, it's a good thing I didn't take that first exit. That would have been the wrong exit. <laughs> I wanna go to the big stop here. Irving Big Stop. It's the big truck stops of the Maritimes in Canada. They don't have any Flying J's out here because I think Irving has quite a bit of pull. They're a pretty big company and pretty rich and I think that they're keeping their competition out. 
Which I guess is okay because Irvings are actually really, really nice. It would actually take, uh, they're actually nicer than Flying J's. And that's a lot coming from me. That's a big compliment coming from me. If Flying J were allowed into the Maritimes of Canada, they would have to up their game to compete with Irving Big Stops. Let's go find a parking spot here. I uh, just need a little bit of a break. Just uh, hang out for a bit. Turn right on. Quiet, Cross Karen. Right no one cares. Take a sharp right turn into 120 meters. Stop whining. Pull in here for a little. Oh, this one says exit only. Oh, shoot. Well, I was following this guy. This guy led me down bad paths. Oh, my. Do you see that guy off to the left there? There's LCV parking spots here for like long vehicles, and there's a bobtail taking up one of those big spots. Oh, goodness, people. Goodness gracious. Now, what's this guy doing? Are you turning around? Are you turning around? Are you coming back this way? What you doing, bud? What you doing? Okay, you're gonna come this way? Well, then I'm gonna go this way. Well, there's no load for us today, everybody. Uh, but that's fine. I got here pretty late in the day, so it's kind of understandable that they wouldn't find anything. So they don't quite fit, but they were, uh, they fit perfectly in the Volvo. But remember I told you these were universal size? You see all these lines along here? For this truck, I have to cut it along that number nine line. I kind of messed up on this one at the bottom there just a little bit. I cut this bottom piece a little too short. So whatever, I'm just stick a little like uh, paper towel in the corner there and that keeps the bugs out. It's only like a, see it's only a little, little tiny hole that I left there. I cut it too short. I have extras at home, but we might be doing a giveaway with those. So uh, keep those nice. And there, that works, right? No bugs can get in, the air can get through. So now I have to do this one from this side. Whoops, without wrecking anything. I gotta put it in, I'll probably do a better job of this one because now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hopefully I don't wreck it. Ugh. Gotta throw all my garbage down here. Don't pay attention to all my garbage, I haven't. I gotta go to the garbage in a bit, one sec. It'll be, my truck's always a little messy, you know that. But I, I try to keep it clean, I really do. But my hair's a little messy, you know, too. But I have a, I have a virus to blame for this. No one wants to cut my hair now because they're all, they're all scared of the coronas. So you know that's how you get it, cutting hair. What's cool about these windows in the back is they open, and they open from the bottom out like this, so I can even have them open in the rain, and no rain will get in here. Isn't that awesome, Diesel? Fantastic, old man. Great truck. So I've been using my uh, <clears throat> handy wire cutters. Getting some very fancy work done here. One sec, let me see if I can put you somewhere so you can see what I'm doing. One second, everyone wants to see. What's he doing? What's he doing? Show me, Trucker Jazz. Show me. I don't, I don't know where I can put you over here. I don't have a mount on this side yet. Oh no. Okay, can I put you here? Will you stay? All right, you gotta stay though. Stay. Stay, you're not gonna stay. Oh, because the charger's pulling you down. Ah! One second, I'll be right back. Now I lost my tools. Oh, Josh, why are you Josh? Dang it. Where did I put my tool? Diesel, did you see where I put down my tool? I just had it. Ah, oh, there it is on the other seat. <laughs> All right, uh, I wouldn't be Josh if I remembered anything. Okay, so this is my handiwork. Careful now. Don't try this at home. See if, uh, cut into this. Makes a little bit of a mess. Cut into that, and you want to get it started. Actually, you know what? You might just be able to bend it. Oh, I'm going to try this. Bend it, and break it. Oh, that worked a lot easier. Why didn't I do that with that one? Well, oh, it was a lot easier. Wow. Okay. There we go. Just got to do a couple of fine finishing touches. Come on. Get this all in there, break that off, follow the line, wait, oh, it broke right off, there you go, 
Well, I, was, I told you it'd be easier the second time. Totally messed up the first one. Okay, and then let's fold this one here and we'll break it. If we come at it from this angle, ho oh, ho! You didn't see that coming? Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. See? Now this should fit in this window. I might need to uh, trim the bottom a little bit more. But, uh, oh yeah, see? Oh, the bottom doesn't quite fit in there yet. Or it does it? Oh, maybe it does. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Why is there a big gap over here? Hey! Okay. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Look at that. Fits nicely. Now all I gotta do is cut this one and try not to mess it up like I messed that one up. That sucks. I wish I wouldn't have messed it. That one looks so messy. And it's the driver's side too. That's the one I always look at. Well, then again, I don't have it there while I'm driving. Because they block the mirrors. This thing. Okay, well, here we go. I'm gonna try to do it like I did the other one. Right along this line there, I just make a line, see? Oh, don't go too high. Go too high again, okay? Now, let's see where I cut that one at. See, make it go down here a bit, eh? Just break that across there, across there. Across there, across there. It's not the neatest looking piece of artwork, but I'm not an artist. Don't judge me. Oh, still way too low. Way too low on that side there. But not too low. Not too low. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a bit. Just the tip. Alrighty. Oh, no. Don't go up that way. Oh, okay. See, it's quite easy to adjust this stuff as you need it. Hmm. <laughs> it's still open. One second. Dang it, I did it on this side too. Oh well, that's okay. It's just that little corner there. You see, you just take a little bit of uh, paper towel or something. It's just to keep the bugs out, right? It's not gonna rain in there. Just get the bugs out. There you go, there you go. Not the most stylish of options, but it is the Trucker Josh way. There you go. See? Fits. And now we have a, a luscious, we have a nice breeze flowing through our truck again, front and back. I'm loving this Peterbilt more every day. I think I'm in love. Oh no. Oh no, my wife's gonna be so jealous. Look at this breeze, just blowing through here. It's like blowing in the wind. Oh, that's nice. There we go, ladies and gents. Cheap thrills. Don't ask me to cut these up for you. I'll mess it up.